everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. In today's game, both quarterbacks will have to be wary of a dangerous pass rush. Each defense ranks in the top 10 in sacks. It's the Bills going up against the Colts. With that, let's get you out to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. They've got the call of this Week 9 matchup. Thank you, Larry. We welcome you to the heart of the Hoosier State in the Circle City of Indianapolis, Indiana, and Lucas Oil Stadium. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the Buffalo Bills and the Indianapolis Colts. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we take a look at the Colts entering play. They have certainly got it rolling of late. Winners of six in a row. And it's simple. The more you win in the regular season, the more likely you play at home in the postseason, and that can take you deep into January. Meanwhile, for the visiting Bills, we're in November now, so this is where you really need to settle in, start getting down to business. And in baseball, they talk about the dog days of August. November, these are the dog days of football, trying to get in position for the big push. The first two months of the regular season down. What will the final two bring us as we're off in week nine? This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. So here come the Bills on offense for the first time. And they'll be led out by their quarterback, a national championship winner as an Ohio State Buckeye. It's Cardale Jones. So while his frame may imitate a defensive lineman now playing quarterback, don't get fooled at all because when you see him throw the football, you know exactly why he's playing the position. Wide receivers love playing with this guy because he gives them a chance to go deep and catch the ball. Throwing Jones. It gets it over the middle to Cobb. A gain of six there on first. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Second down now after the pass completion. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. And give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. And so often we talk about electric playmakers as we look at the offense here. Sammy Watkins, he's an electric playmaker. Love the word you used. Electric indeed. Dynamic. And this guy makes plays and opens the game up. An early test for this defense. Here we go on third and inches. Now Jones. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Back to throw now on first down. That's complete to Cobb. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. And that's the kind of pass that adds up over time, Brandon. You may not have picked up a first down there, but if you keep chipping away at it, eventually big plays may result. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. Now they'll run it on the toss. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. In today's NFL, you hear all the time about stretching the field and creating space in order to run plays. A toss play will help accomplish that because now you're pushing a defense to chase you all the way to the edges and to the sideline. That's a nice run probing now early to try and get things done later. Let's just go ahead and state the obvious. You're going to want a big game out of that guy. Big time run to get things started. But even more importantly, coming in on the road, trying to silence the crowd, take them out of it a little bit, slow down the emotions of the game, and get yourselves under control and feel like we're going to be okay on the road. A handoff as they run the counter play. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. 
It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. After watching that play and result, I go back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator, Brandon, before the game and said, how are you going to move the ball running it against the number one defense? He gave us no indication, didn't tip his hand at all, so we have to see how this unfolds as this game moves along. And he's going to get this inside the 30. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. It's so important to establish the running game early in a contest because when you do that, that just opens your playbook so big for your offensive coordinator. And to be frank about it, they like calling pass plays better than they like calling running plays. And with the way that they're running it right now, that's going to open things up to do whatever they want through the air as this game goes on. They'll run it now out of the gun. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. And here are the defensive starters in your old position. You get to talk about the secondary. The best athletes on the field, Brandon. Ah, debatable. Well, well, we'll see how this goes today. I love, I love the way you put my guys down. But you know this. They've got to cover and they have to tackle. They have a heck of a task in front of them in this game. Let's see what the offense comes with here. Second and eight. And now some motion before the snap. And this will be our first penalty of the night's proceedings. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. Give him six on the play, and that'll lead here to a third down. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. It's been a pretty long opening drive. This will be play number 11 coming up on third down. On play action, they'll throw. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. Sammy Watkins, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Bills take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Well, that's how they envisioned it, get the football to start the game and score it. And I don't know if that was scripted, was it an audible, or was it just a play call that they had in their pocket? No matter what, they had the right call on against the right defense, and they end up in the end zone. And it's 7-0 Buffalo. So that one a long 11 play drive and it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27 yard line. So the Colts now coming out for their opening drive. And they'll be led out by their quarterback, the Stanford man. It's Andrew Luck. I love everything about Andrew Luck's game, but I also love his worldliness. Some of his formative years were spent growing up outside of the United States. And I think that that's helped him when he came back because now he's seen the world. I think that helped him mature a little bit as well. And he's going to be stopped here on this first play as he gets it to the line of scrimmage and no more. Shaquille Barrett in on the tackle. The wide receivers, often a very, very talented group, and that's the case here. And they don't mind showcasing it either. Those guys love to be flashy, love to make big plays out in the open field. They will attempt to do so in this game. And ready now for second and nine. To throw on second down is Luck. And he whips that one incomplete there. And we take a look at the Bills' defense. Marcel Darius, year in and year out, plays at a Pro Bowl level. Offense in a little bit of a bind here. Nine yards to go on third down. Throwing on third down, Luck. 
He's going to fire one deep left sideline. So they took a shot there on third down, couldn't get it. Now it's four. A third down, he tried to stay in bounds, did all he could. He caught it, but was led a little bit too far. Yeah, that's always difficult, isn't it? Because you know half of your body is trying to stay behind while the other half is reaching out, trying to catch the football. The top half worked. It was the bottom half that was in question. Fielded just inside the 20. No, oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle it. A very good return there. Give him an even 20 yards. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> you love pressure. We'll see, I love it. We'll see if they dial it up this drive. One receiver right is Watkins. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. A big play there. His second touchdown on the season. And his guys get the quick strike touchdown. Charles, that was a heck of a play. It truly was because when he made that catch, he had to shake through some people, right? So that play, to me, a highlight film that should be accompanied by bass music, right? <laughs> I mean, boom, boom, boom. And he finds his way to the end zone. Terrific play. Now Sturgis on to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. Hardly any time taken off the clock there. Two plays, and they find the end zone for six points. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is taken at the three. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out with a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. So much of the game today. We're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. They got two of the three they needed there. It leaves them with third and just a yard. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because there's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. Really good, smart play by the defense, understanding third and short, guarding the first down sticks, and being able to make a play on the football and bat it down. Here's Drew Kayser now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. 
The Bills offense now, they get set to head back onto the field. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right? To be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. The Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. That was not a completion that results in a highlight video. But at the same time, if you have those kind of completions all game long, eventually one of them might turn into a highlight. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. One receiver right is Watkins. Throwing Jones. Surveying the field. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. The Bills send the punter out as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. That's pulled in at the 32. Oh, he will not go down. Have to retake those ankles. A good return there, 17 yards. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and 10. A chance for us to look now at the Bills' defense. Their stay on the field last time was short-lived with a three and out. See if they can get some more of that. And ordinarily, you want to be on the field playing, right? But three and out, that's almost gold to a defense. Get to the bench, get some rest, turn the ball over to your offense. We'll see what they can do here, see if they can force another three and out. The drive begins with a handoff to West. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. The former All-Pro Marcel Darius brings him down. And while there is no gain on that run, we do know coaches whose identity is rooted in taking it almost to the limit and then changing things up on you down the stretch. I think we're getting really close to that point in time, though, where the identity may have to go out the window. They've got to go a little bit faster in order to try and win the game. Back-to-back one-yard runs here, so that leaves him with a third down and eight. A nickel back added defensively as they look to stop this third and eight. Here's Luck. He's got his man in the crossing round. Eight yards there and a first down. They were ready for what the defense was showing. They had prepared for that look, recognized it, went straight to the air, got the first. Well done. Love the recognition because you can prepare for everything. You can watch the tape and put together your game plan, but you still have to understand what they're doing in terms of what they're showing and be able to adjust accordingly, and they did exactly that. And on the ground they go with a running back. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. No, that wasn't an explosive run. That wasn't one that took it all the way to the house. But, boy, for a team that's had trouble running it the entire game, that's the kind of run they need, hopefully, to get themselves kick-started. And they'll run it here. And an alley to run. Look at the spin. Balance. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. So the run gets them the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. 
And that run was what a lot of people call an explosive run. Gave them good yardage, solid yardage. They feel good about the whole thing, and they did it behind a two tight end set. It's always interesting to watch what offenses want to do with the two tight ends. Sometimes they line them up together for a power set. Sometimes they put one on each side of the line of scrimmage to balance things out. No matter what, though, when you see two tight ends on the field, your first thought is to think of run. In this case, the offense was able to run successfully. They lost two there, and it's third down. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've hit the end of quarter one. 14-0 is our score. We'll come back to Indianapolis after this. Back with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Colts in possession of the football to begin quarter number two. They do, however, have a tough third and long coming up. From the gun on third down, Luck, he hits West underneath. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Call it a gain of three, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. So now on fourth down, Chuck Pagano turns to the field goal unit here. From the left hash, it's a 36-yard attempt. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14-3. So three drives now for this offense, and that field goal gives them their first three points. Yeah, as an offensive coordinator, if you're averaging a point of drive, you're in the wrong line of work. But in his defense, this has been a stifling defense so far. So they've got to start finding a way to unlock them as this game goes on. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And with a new rule, that decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he only gets to the 20. Cardale Jones and company heading back on the field. And he's been good. Two first-half touchdown passes, no interceptions so far. Does a lot for your confidence. Does a great deal for your team. Gives them a lead, and they're feeling really good about how they're playing. I think he expects it to at least another one. As you say, now he wants the first half hat trick, doesn't he? Oh, without a doubt. Go ahead and fling him on the field, folks. He wants that type of celebration. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. And they still need eight yards for the first here on second down. They come up in an offset eye. Now Jones. Looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. A good pick up there of 20 yards. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. They'll look to throw here on first down. He's got Watkins on the out route. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Give him 16 on the pickup. And it's first down, Buffalo. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. One thing that's really difficult for an offense is often identifying how to block a 3-4 defense. Well, when they're coming on a blitz, even more difficult. They're elusive targets and hard to hit. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Looking to throw. And he will find his man on the end route. Complete. 15 yards through the air and a first down. 
and those first downs do add up. The offense keeps the ball moving downfield and keeps their defense on the bench, giving them a chance to rest. So the offense has it first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. He'll get about six there as he takes this one down to the 24-yard line. Good, strong run against the 3-4 set. And that 3-4, you've got to have you guys up front eat up a lot of blocks. The guy playing over the center, the nose, he usually has to take on double teams. But when you're able to successfully move him, you're often able to get some yardage. And that's when linebackers have to clean up and make tackles. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. My high school football coach was very fond of saying, you've got to meet force with force. And on a short yardage running play, that's what you're going to encounter. And how about them picking up the first down on that one? Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. Ah! They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Can we just take that run and turn it into a kind of a clip and save? Because that tells you everything you need to know about this drive. They've been moving the ball awfully well. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And he's going to go down. He sacked back at the 24. Henry Anderson able to drop it for a loss of 12. And it'll be fourth down. Well, this has been a pretty sizable drive. They've had some success. Finally, the defensive coordinator found some success of his own. I think he just simply said enough of that. Okay, they've moved the ball well. We need to force the issue from our end. And that's exactly what he did. So fourth down coming up, John Harbaugh send on the field goal unit. Right hash mark of 42-yard attempt. And Sturgis able to knock it through. And they will stretch the lead now to 17-3. to So a good kick there, and they wrap up the drive by putting three on the board. And you know, let's face it, you're not always going to come away with six. Defense in the NFL are just too good but you've got to come away with something. And there, they get three. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This fielded at the two. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. And he's brought down after a good game. 22 yards on the pick up there. And the Colts are going to have a first. The defense came out with a look that they had prepped for all week to attack. They took advantage, got the first down. And the key words in there, prepped for all week. They really studied them, understood their tendencies, knew what they liked to do, and prepared their game plan accordingly. And boy, the payoff was good. So it'll be first down here after the run. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. These are not the runs that you worry about early in the game. These are runs that you're establishing now for later in the game, trying to wear a defense down and create holes that you'll exploit later. 
Here's Luck now on second down. He's got time. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. Whether they deserve credit or not, the defense is going to take credit for that incompletion because it always feels good when you slow down an offense. So incomplete on second down. Now they'll look to convert here on third. Out of the gun, Luck. A bullet throw, but incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they were unsuccessful. Here's Drew Kayser now as he's on to punt for Indianapolis. He gets this away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. Out of bounds and close. The question, was it a touchback? No. They'll say it crossed out at the two-yard line. Cardale Jones and company heading back on the field. They've got the lead. He's a big reason why. Looking sharp so far. And as we travel around the league, we see quarterbacks get it done in a variety of ways. But today's NFL does tell us one thing. If that guy doesn't play well, on, their team's not going to win. And right now, he's got his team in the lead. And now, I don't know if he made it out of the end zone. No signal. Yes, it's a safety. Well, I think you can go ahead and give your punter an assist on that one. Pinned him deep, and the defense comes through with two points. You're exactly right, partner. This was all set up by a great punt. And if the ball goes in the end zone, this never happens. So great call. Give the punt team and the punter some love. This is taken at about the 14. Spinning past him. A chance for us now to look at this Bills defense again. They're hoping to do what they did last time, force another punt. Last time it resulted in a field goal. We'll see if they can get another stop here, though. And the best defenses are in the business of preventing points and creating points. And that's exactly what these guys did on their last possession. Why? Because they got off the field on three and out, turned the ball over to their offense after the punt, and let them roll downfield and put the ball through the post for a field goal. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But if the strong safety position end up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. So here we go, first and ten now. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Second down following the run. On second down, here's Locke. He's going to let this one go deep into a double team, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. Oh, and that's a nice job defensively to get a piece of the football. He's going to pop it into the air, and then it's the tip drill. And good concentration by him to react to it and pull in the interception. And the Bills offense comes out ready to take over. And last time they surrendered the safety, we know they don't want to do that again. That is just one of those oddities in scoring that we get. And it's just so strange to see that go up on the board. And then you got to make sure that that doesn't happen to your team again. They've got to take care of the ball. But boy, it juices up the defense. Oh, without a doubt. That's a great way to score some points. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. 
But at least he was able to break that initial contact or it could have been a loss. Yeah, give credit to the defensive player, though. What did he do? Made him slow down, slow up his feet, and allowed the rest of the guys to get there to finish him off. Let's go, Ohio! Ohio! Cut. Throwing Jones. He's got time in the pocket. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. It'll be a pickup of just two, and that's going to bring up a third down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. And this is caught by Watkins. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Second down to the offense needing five yards. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We'll come back to Indianapolis right after this. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Larry Ridley in Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Let's go! Flash round! Flash round! They'll look to throw here. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. Fresh set of downs here. One receiver right is Watkins. Now Jones. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Maybe just a lack of concentration there as he couldn't haul it in. And when you're going across the middle like that, you know, he's running that drag route, you are conscious of all the bodies and the traffic in there. But let's face it, if you're going there, you might as well come down with the football and absorb whatever else happens after that. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field that's pumped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. Throwing it a traffic there, and that's complete. And now here's a timeout called by the Colts on the defensive side of the ball. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. And Sturgis able to knock it through, and that will make this now a 15-point advantage. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays, but the net gain, three points. And you're going to have drives like that in this league. Sometimes you just got to take the three and move on. Always better than nothing. Fielded about a yard deep. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Don't want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it 
it moves the chains. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Luck on first down. And he's got his man on the out route. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. Luck throwing again. Able to get away. That's why you keep the legs churning. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Even in today's NFL, when we think of the tight end position now as really a glorified wide receiver, we're still asking a lot of those guys. They have to block as well. And every now and then, they don't come down with the football. Here's Love. And he can't come up with a pick. Nearly his second of the game. Instead, fourth down. Well, he just threw an interception last drive. Nearly another pick. And things aren't very even right now, are they? It's a little bit sloppy out there, isn't it? It's kind of the difference between driving on those paved roads and those country roads that have those <laughs> potholes in them, isn't it? Because that's the way this game's going right now. A lot of bouncy bounce to it. Now, whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout. Now a first down throw, Luck. And he will find his man on the outside. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays. Makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Ends up a nice second down for them. And that one was knocked away, and I think the defenders are going to be a little upset with themselves. They made the play on the football, but that one felt like a forced pass by the quarterback. Thought he had someone open. He really wasn't. Maybe an example of having too much confidence in his receiver that no matter what, I'm going to throw it to him. And that was a play made by the defense, and it could have been a bigger one. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Luck looks to throw on third and one. And he comes back with one complete. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Love. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. Sometimes it looks pretty simple batting the ball away, but oftentimes there's some pretty good teaching and practice that goes into it. Being able to get to the receiver, not interfere, and get his hands through the football and knock it away. Throwing his luck. And this is incomplete. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Bills taking the lead to the locker room. As we'll send you down to Orlando where Larry Ridley has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? Thanks, Brandon. And welcome to the EA Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. Let's take a look back at the first half. The Colts are down right now. They have to feel like they're still in it. The Bills came in prepared for this game, and it shows in the way they played. So here we go. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Third down at the 24. Now to the middle of the first. Jones has got the completion here, and he kept off the long drive with a touchdown. That puts them up by a touchdown. Third down at the 19. Defense will get to the QB here. This ends up as a loss of nine. down from the 12. Anderson's got the sack here. This will go for a loss of 13. So that's it for us. We'll go back now under the lights for the second half of this Sunday night matchup.